Saturday, we went to Chinatown to see the district in the daylight. It was a pretty hot day, and the streets were packed with people. There was a part called Pagoda where retired people played checker with each other. The shops here sold a lot of cool Asian decorations. I love mangosteen ever since I had them in Thailand, and I was lucky to grab one here. In the evening, we went to Gardens by the Bay. I read that you can watch the Super Tree Light Show for free two times a night, one at 7.45 and the other at 8.45. There's a lot of people waiting around the tree to see the show, but anywhere you sit, the show looks awesome. I came back to the hotel and tried the mango steam. There's a lot of 7-Eleven convenience stores and not a lot of gas stations. In one of the 7-Elevens, I was able to buy the classic Red Bull drink. It was less carbonated and more juice-like than the Red Bull that we know in the US. And there's also a lot of places where you can find a good architecture. It is a cool city to just visit for the architecture itself. On the way to a restaurant, I met some cool cats. To see more cats, you can take a ferry ride to St. John's Island. The island is known to be a local cat paradise. I wanted to visit, but there was a lot of rain, so it's planned for the next time. Also, there was an old Kia truck that was converted to be a bench. I went to Hill Street Tai Hua Pork Noodle. They are probably the cheapest Michelin star restaurant in the world. You can get the large pork noodle for about $10 USD. The noodles are cooked to order with a lot of flavors and textures. You can have all the textures from fluffy, crispy to tender. I waited about 30 minutes in line at 11.30 a.m. on Sunday. After lunch, I went to the Flower Dome and the Cloud Forest. The entrance was $53 Singaporean for both. The Flower Dome was pretty chilly, and it was amazing how they could maintain so many different species of plants. This is the Cloud Forest. In the Cloud Forest, there was a special exhibit for the movie Avatar World. Very fittingly, the entire place was like being in a rainforest and cloud. This place is great for family and kids because there's a lot of cool activities you can do. Was it worth the steep price? It depends. If you have kids, absolutely. They'll get blown away. If you love flowers, I recommend just checking out the flower dome. 
If you love architecture like me, then the answer is yes. There's a lot of cool points and details in the architecture, and everywhere you point your eyes to become a pleasurable experience. But if you want an excited theme park experience, it could be a bit disappointing. But you can always go to Sentosa Island for some adrenaline. It's time to give Singapore an honest opinion. The entire country is smaller than any given cities in the U.S. And it is a city packed with stuff to do to make you forget how small it is. If you love the city life and also can stand the hot and humid tropical weather, there's no other place like here. Being around other tourist Asian countries like Indonesia, Philippines, and Thailand, you can also enjoy cheap and relaxing off-work life. But if you love adventures in the parks and in water sports, you might be left waiting and wanting for more. The steep cost of living and expensive price of goods also is a downside of living in Singapore. However, if you're a STEM person like me, then there's a lot of good job opportunities and great schools such as National University of Singapore where things are taught in English. Would I live here if I given the chance? Yes. I would love to live at least one circulation around the sun and see how things are. But until then, I can't say I would love to live here for long term. Oh, and by the way, this hay tea was awesome. I waited for an hour and a half, but it was still there. This is called kopi. The usual breakfast looks like getting a cup of kopi and couple of slices of kaya toast. Kaya toast has coconut jam and butter and it's so good. For lunch, this is a typical office food court looks like and it's pretty cheap at around 8 to 10 dollars. Singapore also has a happy hour to get some good deals at rooftop bars like this. It was the last night out and I went out with some co-workers and had a good time. On the day of the departure, we went to Changi Airport again. I love trying out coffee from different places, and Baka coffee, when you're in Singapore, is a great place. It is based on Morocco, but you can find many shops here. I recommend Nepal or Peru coffee. For the flight back, I was able to upgrade to a premium seat at only $19 because it was on Wednesday. I learned a lot from this business trip, met great people, and experienced a lot of new adventures. By watching this video, I hope you felt like you were traveling with me. And until next time, see you Space Cowboy.